New this half hour, Senator Tom Tillis hosting a discussion on mental health care and the substance abuse crisis in Raleigh. He also jo was joined by Health Secretary Cody Kinsley and other state leaders. Tamara Scott joins us live now with more. Good afternoon, Tamara. Good afternoon, and we actually just hopped out of that meeting where mental health was the top of discussion here inside the federal building. Now, this comes off the tails of the one year anniversary of the Safe Communities Act, which was authored by Senator Tillis. Now, Senator Tom Tillis was joined by fellow legislative leaders as well as health leaders today for a discussion on how they can better address mental health in our communities. Access to telehealth and community health centers, as well as the opioid crisis, especially with those who are in underserved communities or veterans were talked heavily about. Now there was a consensus between the panel that a big hurdle right now is access to insurance or any coverage for people. They also drew correlations surrounding the judicial system and getting redemption for people following incarceration for drugs and behavioral behavioral issues. Now Tilla says he was encouraged by the conversation today and while the future is important, he wants to spend time now enhancing programs across the state and eventually the country. Let's, full, let's not look past the next thing when we know this. This is not, uh, this is based on successful programs that were implemented over five years ago in, in about 10 states, and they've all proven to be successful at varying levels. Some have been extraordinary. I want North Carolina to be extraordinary. Now, in addition to the expansion of the programs that already exist in this program through that act, he also touched on a little bit about the discussions on deciding when background checks should be available for people who want to purchase weapons. He says that he wants those to start for people 21 years and older because he says he wants to make it easier for law abiding citizens to get access to weapons and be responsible gun owners. Tamara Scott, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.